Hello everybody, this is D22 with you today from the main channel, or as you like to call me, Dom. Today we're going to be doing another tutorial on Tutorial Tuesday. Yes, it just has a certain je ne sais quoi to it, and if you don't know French then je suis désolé. We're going to be using this tool called Paint Tool Sci. Now, the only difference between Microsoft Paint and Paint Tool Sci is that this is a premium version of a paint program, like it has all the tools in here. Paint does not. The only difference is, is that this has a 31 day trial for you to try it. So you get to try it for a whole month just to see what it's like and you can create really cool thumbnails as well here. So let's say you want to make a project using Paint Tool Sci. What we're going to go through in this video is just how to set up your canvas and how to use each of the tools. So we're going to create a new file. So we're going to go File, New, and then we're going to go new canvas or we can select a preset. So let's select 1280 by 1024 as our canvas. And you can set the height and width by pixels or centimeters and then resolutions. And then it gives you all the information right here in the information box. Then you can click OK. There's your canvas. So then let's say you want to get funky, get creative with it. You can adjust the zoom according to this so that you can zoom in on whatever part you want. That's really neat. And then you can also angle it a certain way using the angle tool. Now that's not bad because most of the tools don't have this feature right off the bat. And then there's also something called a paint effect. So you can select texture and watercolor, paper, canvas preset. So you can let's let's say we'll select paper. And then you can scale it to a certain height as well. And then you can set it to another parameter. And then you can put an effect on it. So effect fringe. And you can set the fringe however you like. And there's an amazing color picker tool right within. This is the hue wheel. This is the value selector saturation selector. And this is the hue wheel. So you have your hue wheel here. We're going to select our hue and our color. And then there's an opacity setting where you can preserve the opacity, clipping group, and selection source. And then you can add layers in this, which is not bad. A pretty small program to install, but it has all this functionality. So there's a line work layer. You can put layers in folders. You can set clear layers, and you can just merge layers down here. This is not bad. This is basically what Microsoft Paint should be. And whoever made this is pretty awesome. So let's say we're going to draw something here. So let's select a pencil. Then we're going to just write in cursive here, my name, this is my cursive, and there we go. So that is with the pencil tool, and then we're going to select airbrush and see how the airbrush tool is. Oh wow, look at that, fancy. That looks really nice. Then there's also the brush, which is like, oh my, that's really good. And then you can set the thickness of the brush as well. You can set the scale like that. You can set the width. Oh, that's really nice. I'm really fascinated by this. Then you can all go watercolor. That is pretty amazing, not going to lie. I mean, this is like the best paint tool that I've ever used, hands down. And then also the marker. They got markers here. Wow. Microsoft Paint does not have this, that's for sure. And then the eraser. So you can erase, 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 and you can set the size of the eraser. Let's make it a big eraser. If you make a mistake, this is what you do and erase mistakes. Oh, yeah, that, that's really good. That's really detailed. I'm just doing this all with a mouse. I'm not using a tablet at all. So let's say we're going to put a brush in. And the big D. Not for Disney, Domingo. All right, and then there's also what's called Select Pen. You can select a certain setting here. Selective Pen, it's called. And then Selective Erase. So it selectively erases what you have made in the Selective Pen. So you can pen it in, but it won't affect the other, other layer here. And then you can add new layers and erase, 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 and you can make it thicker, erase, 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 delete, 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 okay, here we go, and then they have a paint bucket tool, but for the sake of it, we're just going to skip ahead here, 
So you've seen the pencil, airbrush, brush, watercolor, marker, eraser, selective pen, legacy pen. This is basically a legacy edition of the pen here. And then you can also set advanced settings to make the pen larger. That's a big ass pen. Anyways, you can also go into the menu up here and select the RGB sliders. You can slide it up and down so you can select the color you want and make like glops of crap or something like that. You can get creative with this. You can get festive with this. Do 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 do. I am Picasso. This is my artwork. I like the pizza. I'm sorry, I'm being racist right now. But anyways, you can just totally get creative with this. You can like make a Picasso or a Renoir or a Mozart or a Farfig Nugent. You can do anything you want with this thing. You can make it all happy. Let's just take that, take that, blah 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 blah. blah. As you can see, it, the more abstract you take it, the more it confuses the heck out of people. Yeah, so. Ah, uh, there we go. There's my abstract right here. You can select any color. Okay, so let's say you've made an abstract art and you want to sell it on eBay right here. And then you just go, go file, and then you save. And then you can save it as an image filter. You can set the image filter right here to whatever size you want. You can set it to PSD form. Wow, PSD format? Cool. Then you can set it to BMP, JPEG, PNG, Targa, and all. So let's just say we're going to save it to good old JPEG. And then we're going to go into where it says pictures. You can Oh, this is really nice. The location settings here are really clean, really smooth. And we're going to go into libraries, and then we're going to go pictures. We're going to save it as new canvas.jpg. And then it gives you the original option or the compressed option. So it compresses the file to whatever size you like. So we're going to say 1600. That's Oh, that's the uh, zoom. And there is the compression ratio in the file size. So it's about 244 kilobytes. So then we're going to click OK. And then our picture is saved. And then we'll the scratch pad, I think, is there as a scratch pad. That's all I can say. And there's also more tools here that you can go. You can go undo, redo, and then clear selection, which we did. Then you can show or hide the selection. Then there's also the zoom factor of your canvas. Wow, 200%. And then they have buttons for this, like actual buttons that you can use, not a magnifying glass down here in the toolbox. That, that that's amazing. I really like the functionality of this and also the way that you can just rotate your canvas however you like. And then you can also do reset view location. There you go. And then here you can set inverted to normal and then you can stabilize it to about S1. Now the stabilizer motion there, I am not too sure about, but it's a really handy function. Then it has a simple menu. It's very clean, canvas layers, you can transform luminance to transparency. You can make thumbnails in this program. This is like the best version of paint ever. I mean, it's not even a Microsoft product, but already this does paint very, very well. And it has a lot of really cool features. Like, I'm not going to lie, this is like paint on steroids, to be quite honest with you. And this is just amazing. So that's pretty much all that I can see on this program here. There's not really much to tell. I mean, the rest is up to your creative imagination. So if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. And domination is imminent.